lots of jumble. I don't really understand. Numbers and calculations and math stuff. Oh, yes. Just my curiosity exploring probabilities and such. Pay them no mind. In the end, it's only guesswork. There's only so much I can see from inside these walls, <laughs> sadly. Ugh. Big, greasy piles of who knows what meat. Hmm. Excuse me, do you mind if I take just a little of your, uh, dinner? Oh, good gracious, please. Take them. Take them all. I am a vegetarian, you see. The guards don't seem to understand that concept particularly well. Ah, I see. I think one will do for now. Yes? Do you have the group release form for me? Indeed. I've been asked to work on it straight away, which I was doing before you interrupted. Oh, sorry. Well, uh, can I have it, please? After I finish amending it, a further 200 to 300 days of processing are required before the form can be shipped out. That's ridiculous. My cell is about 30 paces from here. Can't you just hand it to me? Rules are rules, inmate. You don't deserve any special treatment. Ugh. The devil did this intentionally, I'm sure of it. He's such a... a... a big, fat, lying trickster. Such language. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a group release form to finish amending. Oh. Hmm... Perhaps if it got a little messy, completely by accident, of course, then perhaps he might throw it out? And then perhaps I could take a little peek in his paper bin. Ah, <laughs> uh, no! The forms! Ha! Didn't even hit a single cage. Must be getting rusty with my throws. I nearly had that form's adjustments finalized, too. Back to it, I suppose. That's... not what I was expecting him to do. Right. If that's his game, I can play along. I think I know a certain little bear who will be happy to catch them for me. I'm really sorry. I have to move your cages around just one more time, okay? Don't worry, everyone. If this works, I'll rescue us all very soon. Three out of three. Ah, bingo. <laughs> bingo is right. I nearly had that form's adjustments finalized. little guy. Good catch with the papers there. But do you think I could, uh, just have a little look at them? <laughs> hey, look! I brought back your honey, see? Just like I promised I would. Who needs yucky papers when you have honey? Finally! If I can get these signed, I'll be able to leave and get back to helping Grandpa again. Maybe... 
maybe there is still a chance of saving him after all. <laughs> Finally! The papers to get me and everyone else out of this place. Just need to get the devil's signature, and I'll be on my way. Mr. Devil? That riddle about knowing you. Well, there's one thing I've learned about you at least. Might I be able to interest you in this suspicious piece of greasy leg meat here? Yummo. <laughs> I... <laughs> Leave it here and be gone with you now. Return later. I have business to attend to. Business? But, hey, didn't I solve one of the riddles? Close, but not close enough, I'm afraid. Be gone. Hmph. How rude. How am I supposed to see him eating when he shuts me out like this? Aha. Just like the wizard's story. Spied through the light of the keyhole, the devil eating. Let's see what we can see. Hmm. I think... I think I see something this time. Something seems... different. Hmm... <gasps> ah! Wh what What was... that? The devil? That was him? That was... I... I know him now. I... I... I know the devil now! You mean, you've looked upon me eating and... you're excited? Of course I am! I did it! I solved one of your riddles! I do know the devil after all, and now I'm one step closer to saving my grandpa again. Mm, you're an interesting girl, Anna. An interesting girl, indeed. Very well. You have solved the riddle, as you say. You looked upon me. No more needs to be said. This meal riddle... I... might have the answer? Maybe? So confident, I see. Very well. So then, Anna. If I were to make a meal of my finest... Then what would my meal be? A dead dogfish from the Great North Sea. Is that by any chance the meat for your dinner? <laughs> How? <clears throat> Very well. I got it right? However, what spoon will I use? What spoon? Huh? W well, um... The rib of a whale. Could that be used for your spoon? Maybe? How? It's impossible. Uh, I have my ways. So, solved, right? Not so fast. You might have gotten lucky with that. But you could never know what my wine glass is to be. <sighs> really? Jeez. Okay, okay. Let me see. An old horse's hoof. That is surely meant to be for the wine glass. Right? Right? I mean, I'm not sure why someone would use a horse's hoof of all things, but... Yes, yes, you are correct, Anna. Well done. Yes? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, yes, yes! Silence! I'm not sure how you did it, but you have solved the riddle. Well done. The... Thank you, mister. That's it. I've done everything you asked of me, and I have the papers for my release. See? You... you stole them. There's no other way. You told me to bring you the papers, and that's what I've done. Impressive. Even I can say as much. You have done well indeed. However, you have yet to convince me of your innocence, in case you have forgotten. Hey! You said a deal's a deal. 
You said you'd let me go. Oh? I'm not sure I recall ever saying your unproven innocence was negated. Do you? <sighs> One chance, that's all you get. In failing this, you would have had two fair trials, and I will have no choice but to sentence you, imprison you, for the rest of your days. Do you understand? Y yes I believe I understand, sir. <laughs> good, good, proceed. All I've ever done is try and help people. Kidnapping dragons, stealing from shopkeepers, imprisoning elderly women. That's not true. I set out to save Grandpa, but I've stopped to help people wherever I could. I stopped those witches to help Ben and Hansel, and I'd do it again if it meant saving them. You're expecting me? Getting here wasn't easy, and now... But Anna, every time you try to do good, bad things seem to happen. Yeah, I was upset at myself. I thought I let Grandpa down, but now I know it's silly to feel sorry for what's happened. I... I will never give up on him. Not now, not ever. You have to let me go, because I have to stop Winfrieda. She's a trickster, an evil witch with wicked, evil plans. Perhaps, but a queen to be nonetheless, and one you sought to dethrone. Furthermore, she deceived you. You trusted her, but she betrayed your trust. Haven't you been a little too trusting, hmm? No, you're wrong. I... I have faith in people. Even if... Even if they are rude, or mean, or selfish, there is always good, somewhere inside. You think you can talk your way out of your actions, hmm? And this good in people dribble. Just look at all the misguided trust you've had. The world is mean, Anna. Evil, vain, selfish. Your grandfather knows as much. He hid you from it, protected you. But now you've seen it, and now you know. Sometimes, sometimes even Grandpa isn't right about everything. The world isn't mean. It's not selfish or vain. It's big and broad and full of different interesting people. The world is good. It's just that... Sometimes, sometimes, that good is forgotten. So all people need is a little faith in them. No matter how bad they are, you just need to look for it. And Winfried are. You know what? Yes, yes, even Winfrieda. If I ever hope to have her reverse Grandpa's curse, then I have to believe it. Anna, you said you had others to add to these release papers. Wait. Really? Really? Yes, yes. Let me see. The Wizard of Wunderhorn, the Gardener, uh, the Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and the Baby Bear. Ah, yes, the Man in the Gallows. I'm not sure what his name is, but he's still down there. So be it. You and your friends. You all have your freedom. But heed my warning. You cannot defeat Winfrieda. It is not in you to do so, and she will overpower you without hesitation. You walk out of this dungeon to your own assured demise. I... I have to. For Grandpa, I have to try. Against all the odds, in the place where none resided, the brave young girl had found hope. The warnings were given, the danger made clear, yet still Anna pressed on to that castle all the same. But deep within, evil plans were becoming realized. A dangerous power lurked real. Confrontation loomed, the whole truth to be realized but only one would survive on that sad, fateful night. <laughs> <laughs>